Welcome everyone to day three of the second chosen devotional. The anchoring verse for today we will find in Luke 5, 16, which reads, Jesus often withdrew to lonely places and prayed. In Psalm 25, David's emotional distress has reached a fever pitch. He's lonely. He's afflicted. He's troubled. He's altogether beside himself. So in true David fashion, he cries out to the Lord, pleading for rescue. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. Bring me out of my distresses, as Psalm 25, 16 through 17 reads. In the New Testament, not one person is described as lonely. Obviously, there were still plenty of lonely people. Take the Samaritan woman, for example. Her troubled life left her void of true companionship. She was emotionally distressed. And in the Gospels, lonely it isn't a condition, it's a place. It's where Jesus withdrew to spend time with his Father. He did this often and would occasionally stay and pray throughout the night. What did he pray? Well, we don't know exactly, at least not to the extent that we know David's prayers. Jesus' lonely place was the stuff of intrigue. The disciples recognized that something much deeper was happening there, something worth forfeiting entire nights of sleep. Once, after Jesus returned from the lonely place, the disciples asked him if he'd teach them to pray. They wanted to understand. Jesus broke it down by the way of the Lord's Prayer. Honor God, seek his perfect will, ask for what you need, expect it, forgive, and honor God. That's the formula that David had down pat. In his loneliness, he sought the Lord. He asked for relief and expected it. He repeatedly petitioned God to show him what to do and to guide his every step. David knew full well that he could not do life on his own, and so did Jesus. In fact, Jesus stated numerous times that he could do nothing by his own authority. He was completely dependent on and obedient to the Father. Perhaps it was in the lonely place where he received the bulk of his instruction. Perhaps many of his prayers were similar to those of David's. No doubt it was in the lonely place where Jesus could find rest and be fully known even on the night that he was sweating drops of blood while pleading for God to spare him from his impending suffering. And God chose to rescue us instead. It's befitting that no one in the New Testament is described as lonely, though. The presence of Jesus eradicates it. Emotional distress has been transformed into the meeting place where Jesus turns to us and is gracious to us. Take the Samaritan woman, for example. It was in the lonely place where Jesus met her, relieved the troubles of her heart, and freed her from her anguish. With him, she discovered that we are never void of true companionship. With him, we find our rest and we are fully known. With him, we are never alone. And now let's turn to prayer here, just reflecting over today's passage. Dear Heavenly Father, we just want to give you all the praise and glory for transforming our loneliness here on earth. Um, even when we're surrounded by those that we know um, and those that we love, it, it's still at times we can feel find ourselves in just a lonely place. And Lord, we just uh, thank you that we have you as a true companion that never leaves our side and is always available to us, Lord. Um, we just uh, ask that um, we, you just draw closer to us. Um, uh, we we want to surrender any 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 areas of anguish, anxiety, depression um, over those and lay those completely at your feet, um, because we know that we are not alone, um, and it, you are here with us, and you are more than wanting and and willing um, to uh, free us from anything that that takes us down like that, Lord. Um, and if not, we know that we are going to be coming out through that. Um, the, those trials and tribulations um, as a refining fire to make us even better and to do things according to your will. And we pray this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. All right. And with that, we do, I do thank you for uh, continuing this journey here with me of 40 days. Um, so I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And as always, until then, God bless and keep you.